Canines with special training have been searching the Carlton Reserve in Myakkahatchee Park for weeks now, but they came up with nothing. A lot of you have found that suspicious. Well, NBC2's Gage Golding talked to a search dog expert to get their thoughts. Yeah, Peters, there's a lot of factors that play in here, many of which we simply just don't know. So let's start with what we do know. First, the human remains were decomposed. That means Brian was dead for a period of time. We also know the area he was found in was previously underwater. And finally, we also know that this area is huge, nearly 28,000 acres of vast wilderness between the two parks. Now to what we don't know. We don't know if search crews passed by this specific area before. We don't know if Brian's body was here the entire time, and we don't know if the right tools were used. An expert in law enforcement canine says all of this unknown plays a huge factor in why Brian wasn't found sooner. If the dogs are well trained and maintained, there's no reason that that I can think of. This is Kyle Hayen, a police dog expert. He's testified as a canine specialist in the court of law and has years of experience training dogs and their handlers. How crews miss laundry's decomposing body perplexes him. When you've got a human body out there and it's deteriorating and it's smelling, a dog is going to smell it. Sounds easy, right? Well, it's really not. Plug in these factors, depth of the water, wind speed and direction, and the sheer size of the wilderness. With that in mind, Hayen gave us a ballpark of 100 yards. That means if a well-trained cadaver dog came within a football field of Laundry's remains, they should have found him. They're not going to miss a 175-pound per person in four foot or six foot of water. The chest-high, swampy conditions actually favored the search teams. Less currents means more odors that rise straight to the surface. But still, something went wrong. Hayen only has three explanations. The only faults can be... The dogs were not well trained or well maintained. They did not specifically get to that area to do a search with the dog, or the body wasn't there when they went through. At this point, it's just not possible to say what, if anything, was missed by investigators. But one thing I want to share from my conversation with Kyle Hayen is that police officers have a natural inkling of suspicion. His suspicion lies with Laundry's parents finding their son's remains within a matter of hours. That question is one we just don't have the answers to yet. And Gage, we know they were using two different sorts of dogs, both uh, search and rescue dogs meant to find people alive and those cadaver dogs for human remains. They're looking for two different odors. So is it possible they had the wrong dog in the right area or vice versa? Correct, yeah. I mean, those tools could be in the wrong place at the right time, right place, right. wrong time. But So the short answer is yes, but it's important to remember that these animals, both search and rescue dogs and cadaver dogs, are highly trained animals. They're highly trained pieces of equipment, of tools. And, the, the, you know, Hayen says if they were in the right place, they should have alerted that the mm. body or the belongings were there. Interesting. Gage, thank you.